Hello everybody, Crips here and as usual, thanks for joining me. All right, I'm going to show you what I do these days when I upload to YouTube. I try to make the file size as small as possible. It just saves a lot of time and, and I've got a really bad internet connection here. So what I do, I use the WebM feature now. Corral Video Studio has WebM, so I definitely use that. And if you go into YouTube itself, they also now offer you the uh, HTML5 players. I'd highly recommend switching over. These days I find the Flash from Adobe just so buggy and it gives me the, uh, the shits. There you go, I swore. Huh. Never mind. So uh, it, you can just go here. I'll put the link in the description and then just enable it. And uh, yeah, that's it. All right, to, to set up uh, using WebM, it's so easy. It's just a couple of steps, and then you can do everything you would normally do in Video Studio. Nothing, uh, there's nothing, or there's no changes as far as editing or adding effects. So all we need to do is go to File, and then just select this, New HTML5 Project. No, I don't want to save this. Yes, I do want to use HTML5. All right, so let's bring that clip back in. Hey, look at that. After training, I'm at Burger King. <laughs> Don't judge me, jeez. <laughs> All right, now if we didn't set it up, then you don't get this option. If I go into share, I have a new option here, the HTML5 option, so that's it. So it gives you three dimensions, uh, four by three, 16 by nine, and HD 16 by nine. So that means the highest quality you can get is high definition, 1280 by 720. And I know some people are going, yeah, but I really want to use my 1080. Well, you can't, so there you go. But let's be honest, uh, not everybody has high speed internet connections, so they're going to struggle to watch those 1080 anyway. And I personally can't see a huge difference between 720 and 1080. So for the sake of uh, megabytes and uh, speed, I'd rather go with the 720. And believe it or not, it is the industry standard. So there you go. All right, so that's it. Then you can just render it out and you have now created a WebM file. All right, I'm going to do something obviously a little bit more. I'm going to prove to you why, or I'm going to show you why it may be beneficial to use WebM. Okay, so i got three video files here. This is all the same clip. Now, when you render out in WebM, it will still create an MP4 file for you. Isn't that nice, okay? Just in case, for whatever reason, you want to use MP4. But here's the big kicker. Now, this is the same video clip rendered out using the standard method and look at my file size, 34 megabytes, all right? Now, if I go to the WebM file, nine megabytes, 9.5, that's, you know, that's a huge reduction. Both of these are 720 and in HD. Now, let's even look at the MP4. It still is a very small file size, 13.8. Now, just to show you that it is a high, a high definition file, because you always want proof. There you go, 1280 by 720. Now you will note that the overall bitrate on this is only two megabytes. If I was to do that to the MP4, you'll see obviously that the bitrate is quite high. Nine uh, megabytes, so yes, you can say, yeah, I'm gonna get a much better quality. Mm, I'm not sure about that. Let's have a look at something else, HTML. Now, uh, pixel by frame rate, so, you got 720 pixels uh, width and height, 1280. Uh, how many pixels at each frame rate? And it's, this one it says 0.8.7. Uh, now, most streaming, like the, your new CNN, BBC, they use 0. Point, sorry, yeah, 0, uh, 0. 0.091. So we're pretty close for streaming. Now remember, YouTube is streaming. So you're gonna retain a pretty good high quality. So it's a... It's so a lower bit rate than the uh, MP4, but the streaming is still quite high. And that really is more important than anything. There you go, you've learned something new, or you, I've completely baffled you with bullshit. So there you go, you can see definitely uh, there's a huge difference in file size, which is great for you uploading it to YouTube. So let's have a look at um, what I mean. Just one more bit of proof, I'll go into my video manager I'll, uh, well, I'll try anyway, okay? So this is the MP4 test, and it says HD. This is the video that I uploaded as a test. And, sorry about the noise. 
and as you can see, I have the 720 HD option. So that is good news. And this is the WebM, and this file is what uh, less than 10 megabytes. So there you go, my friends. Uh, I'm hoping that everybody will start twitching over to WebM because for me, I think it's a way, way better way to watch videos. And as always, thanks for watching.